Dallas, good evening and welcome to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines for our main event. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. From Miami, Mr. Untouchable. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Good job with the left hand. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Kid Dynamite. Kid Dynamite's ability to punch, to flat out put forth power, puts people in the seats. Early on, that's what they expect to see here. And early on, sometimes too much of a good thing, guess what, it can be dangerous, it can backfire. If he lands a punch and it doesn't get rid of the guy, well, what else can he do? What happens then? left hand coming into play by Kid Dynamite. Mr. Untouchables feeling the impact of a big counter punch. Halfway through round number one. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Comes across with a hook up top. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. There you go. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Ten seconds to go in this round. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Kid Dynamite. End of the round. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with your ringside. He just didn't throw enough, Teddy. I mean, you gotta go out there and put something forth if you wanna win the round. Hey, sometimes it's complicated. Sometimes it's pretty simple. You don't throw punches, you don't win fights. What impact from that uppercut by Kid Dynamite. Turns over that hook upstairs. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Fires right back at him. Precision work with the left hand by Kid Dynamite. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. And now he's targeting upstairs. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Well, that's a smart fighter because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. Asakainen's landed a good, solid combination. a well-scored left hand by Kid Dynamite. Move those feet! Ten clicks of the talk.
Kid Dynamite's corner has got to be thrilled with what they just saw. They won that last round. They put down a beat down on their opponent. And now they got to be thinking, hey, this thing could really snowball in our favor big time when we get off the stool here. Yeah, they have to feel that way. Keep it going. Why change it now? You know, what you did the last round, it worked for you. It got you into a commanding position. Keep doing it. Keep doing more of it. But remember your defense. Big, big shot he just scored with. He goes down, but it doesn't look like it's anything big there, Teddy. He was just off position. Leaning forward a little bit. Ossie Kynan's up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. Well-targeted left hand by Kid Dynamite. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Keep moving around the ring. Kid Dynamite's left now getting into the mix. Teddy, he's wobbling all over the ring. You know, Joe, he can't use his legs right now, so he wishes, and it's too late for it because he wasn't taught, but he wishes he was a guy who was taught how to slip right in front of a guy and make the guy miss. Then at least he could do that. Right now, his only chance is to grab because the legs are not going to be there for him. That's a good left hand by Mr. Untouchable. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Listen, you need to move your head more side to side, okay? I want to see that hand. Three rounds in the books. Kid Dynamite's in control. Teddy, he's up with a clean sweep on your scorecard. Yeah, and I like the way he's doing it. You know, he's making a guy come to him. He's making a miss, and he's scoring all the clean punches. As a kind of sticking to what we've always known of him, Teddy, the style hasn't changed even though he was knocked down earlier. You know, a lot of trainers would say, hey, they pat him on the back. They say, there you go, kid. You know, stay with your identity. Just make sure that you correct a couple little things you need to correct. On the mark with a straight left hand. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. What an excellent two-punch combo by Kid Dynamite. Good flush, straight left hand. Wow! He got demolished like that was a wrecking ball. One punch power ends the evening. You gotta love that. Yes, a kind of the man. One single punch, one solid knockout. That's all it took. And I love the way he did it. He tricked him into it. He made him walk in a little bit and then bang. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.